Hello runners, today I want to talk to you about shoes, but not specifically about what kind of shoes you should buy. I want to talk about how you can modify your shoes that they feel even more comfortable for you. And we can do this by relacing our shoelaces. So the reason I want to do this today is because I have a new pair of running shoes that I haven't ran in yet. And uh, as you can see, the default lacing that they come out of the factory is uh, the diagonal, the traditional, you know, diagonal lacing. Uh, it's kind of hard to see with the color scheme of these shoes, but you get the picture. Uh, what that does is that that helps your feet stay really secure all the way through the toe box. Um, but we don't really need that as runners. You know, we're not like doing a lot of side to side motion like you would in soccer or basketball. Uh, we want those shoes to be pretty secure around our feet, but we want the the, our toes to like kind of be able to splay out a little bit and feel more comfortable. What this also does is it puts a lot of pressure on the top of your foot. So that can cause your foot to go numb. I know a lot of new runners, they say that their feet go numb while they're running and they say, help me, how do we fix this, you know? And it can also cause black toenails. Uh, you might get black toenails anyway from running. Sorry, that's just how it goes, but this definitely, the pressure on the top of your foot could definitely exacerbate that. And then just overall like uncomfortableness, you know, when you start getting up in higher mileage and you got constant pressure all around your foot all the time, it just hurts. So I lace my shoes uh, differently than what they come, than when they come out of the, the box. Uh, and I use what they call uh, ladder lacing. There might be other names for it, but I know it as ladder lacing. And what that does is you take away the, the crisscrossing of the laces. And so as you can see, these are my old shoes. The laces just go one across like that. And like a ladder, that's what they call it, ladder lacing. What this does is it gives my feet a lot of room to breathe in there and a lot of room to move around, you know. A little bit of movement's okay because like I said, we're not moving side to side. We're not gonna get those blisters on the sides of our feet usually. Uh, kind of depends what type of running you're doing, I guess. So, so I'm gonna walk through on how to relace your shoelaces uh, to be able to do this. And then I'm also going to uh, show you how to do this lace lock up here at the top. The reason why I want to do this lace lock is because once you do the ladder lacing, uh, you'll see that you'll feel that uh, your the shoe's almost too loose, and uh, you want to obviously feel secure, right? And so what it's going to do is let your uh, feet feel really loose throughout the shoe, right here in the toe box. But then here at the ankle is where we're going to secure the shoe to your foot, and it's going to feel really good. I do this with a lot of new runners, I just grab their shoes from them and I start lacing, I say, trust me on this, and they put it on and they're just like, wow, this is this is great, I love it, and um, everyone I have recommended this to has loved it, and I think you're going to too, so uh, let's get into it. Okay, so ultimately we want to take these new shoes, they have the diagonal lacing that comes out of the box, we want to change it to the ladder lacing, okay? The first step we're going to do is to just unlace the shoe. Okay, stop when you get to the bottom. You can leave the bottom part laced right here. What we're going to do is you're going to take this lace right here on this side and you're going to keep it on that same side and go out and up through the next hole up above this one. So it came out the next hole up, okay? And you're gonna take it straight across to this hole that is one up from the bottom hole, and you're gonna come in from the outside, okay? So I got my two laces on this side. I'm gonna take my other lace, okay? And I'm going to go up two holes. So this is the bottom lace, the next one is the one that the other one just came through. This third one is empty. So I'm going to come up and out that one and then cross straight across, come in from the outside. Okay. So you can kind of see, oh, let me pull these a little tighter. Kind of see the, the ladder starting. 
Okay? So, then go back to this side, once again, and it's coming out from the second hole up. So we want to take it not out of this one, but up through this one on this side. Okay? So take it up and out. And then straight across, coming from the outside in. Okay? So, same thing with this one. We're going to skip a hole, come out, go straight across, come in the other side. Okay. Back to this one. We're going to come up, out. This one we're not going to take straight across because we're at this very top hole right here. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. And this one we're just going to take it to the next hole which is the also the top one. Okay, so as you can see there are two holes up here on each side of the shoe and we're going to use that to make our lace lock. So after we've done the ladder lacing, uh, we're going to take our laces and put them in the same side on that next hole out, okay? Okay, so you can see we have these little bunny ears, these little loops that we've made. Uh, by doing that, we're going to cross the laces and put it through these loops. Okay? What this is going to do, and I'll show you when I put my shoes on, is that it's going to tighten up quite a bit around the ankle. But because I did the ladder lacing, my feet are going to feel like they have no restriction whatsoever. So let's put them on. Okay, so these are my shoes. I put them on. So I'm going to take my shoes. I'm going to pull them up and down, and up and down a couple times. And I don't know if you saw that, but it really cinched around my ankle right here. So it feels really tight and secure. So I feel like I'm not going to lose my shoe, but I have a lot of wiggle room in my toe box right here. So after you do that, you can just Tie it like you normally would. You're good to go. Okay, so there's a little tip to help you uh, modify your shoes to make your feet feel a little more comfortable. I really think you're going to like this. If by chance you don't, you can just relace them like the way you took them out of the box. Uh, that's not too difficult, but I really think you're going to like this. Uh, I know that video might have been hard to follow, but if you have any questions, uh, you can just get in contact with me. You can respond in the comments below or you can find me on Instagram at Utah Running Coach. Thanks everyone.